מאוד, גשר צר מאוד, כל העולם כולו, גשר צר מאוד, גשר צר מאוד. כל העולם כולו, גשר צר מאוד, גשר צר מאוד, גשר צר מאוד. Hi, my name is Susan North Gilboa, and I am the director of the Our Space LA programs at Valley Beth Shalom and founder of the Artistic Spectrum of Jewish Learning program. I would like to welcome you to the Our Space LA 13th Annual Art Gallery and our third virtual art gallery premiere. For the past 38 years, I've been directing Our Space LA, where we have created a community for children, teens, and adults with neurodiversity so they can be connected with like-minded people, celebrate Jewish learning, raise their voices in song, and dance like nobody's watching. It's where we celebrate diversity and understand that each one of us is an important strand in the web of life. Beginning in March 2020, when our world was faced with the pandemic, we needed to isolate. It felt like we needed to build a wall around ourselves and our families in order to remain safe from COVID. But a wall creates distance and stops people from seeing each other and connecting with one another. On the other hand, if you build a bridge, you are creating a means to connect with people. So we found a way to build bridges to one another. Zoom became a bridge as well as phone calls, texting, live streaming, etc. Then in September 2021, as we were about to take steps back to in-person sessions, as well as offer hybrid for people who wanted to continue to join on Zoom, I thought about a beautiful prayer that Rabbi Nachman of Breslav came up with sometime in the early 1800s, and it became our theme for this year. Kol ha'olam kulo gesher tsar me'od, v'hayikar lo lefached klal. The whole world is a very narrow bridge. The important thing is that we are not afraid. The pandemic showed us how connected we are and how our choices affect others. So if we choose to build bridges instead of walls, our world could be a much safer and healthier place to live. Instead of being fearful of others, we can find ways to connect and come closer to others. A bridge between people enables the passage of ideas and helps to create endless opportunities for growth, learning, and understanding. Each exhibit that you're about to see represents these concepts and the value of creating bridges. When we get over obstacles, reach out to others, join forces to be united as we journey through negative and positive times, and can look to the future together then life is better for everyone. You will also hear from some of our participants how they re-entered in-person sessions, have overcome their own obstacle, as well as how they think we should build bridges to others. We hope that you enjoy this experience as we journey over the bridge to the world of artistic expression. Hi, I'm Michael David Wilsonbaum. I've been in our space LA for 15 years. Hi, my name is David Saventura. How many years have you been part of the Our Space LA community? Uh, over 20 years. How has it been for you to cross the bridge from being at home for almost two years and crossing over to in-person Our Space LA programs? When I heard Our Space LA back in person, I was thrilled. It has been super fun crossing this bridge. It's been very easy for me to cross back to in person. I really missed being at VBS for, for all of that time. I have really enjoyed getting back out in the wood. It's so much different than doing it online. I am ready to use to doing things online now. Better to see people and be engaged. A bridge over troubled water 
with Roni Schneor, Alyssa Landau, and Paul Verston. As we re-entered our space LA in person and on Zoom using a hybrid model, we created a piece that represented moving past a hard time and into a promising future. We began with building the bridge using tape on a blank piece of watercolor paper. Using watercolors, we created a background. When the tape was removed, we were left with the bridge formation and by the surroundings, we could see a brighter future. Graffiti street art communicates and expresses ideas with Alyssa Landau, Ronnie Schneor, and Paul Verston. Bridges have been used as a canvas and a public way for visual artists to use images, symbols, and words to convey meanings. Our participants created their own posters composed of a background filled with words that express positive messages, their names, and a self-portrait. The lettering was done using chisel tip markers, which is a classic technique akin to street calligraphy. The self-portraits were modified in Photoshop to create a high contrast image and eventually layered into the graffiti poster. The Giving Plate with Roni Schneor. Bringing something to others helps to break barriers and helps to form connections.
This plate is for everyone to give love and kindness away. Let its gift bring joy and comfort while it's with you on this day. Cherish the precious memories made with family and your friends. Then pass it on to someone else so its giving never ends. has helped you to re-enter, to get used to coming back to in-person. What helps me the most are uh, being autistic, singing with guitar, and my costilla, making art, and touches my heart. I love singing with guitar, and I love singing at services. My costilla brings me to art space. My mom see me minds me good social skills on important. See me minds me to be respectful. The teachers and staff have been very helpful, especially Ronald and Paul. Hi everyone, I'm Eva Haim and I'm one of the visiting artists uh, with Artistic Spectrum. Uh, the concept that we went over this year was the entire world is a very narrow bridge and the essential thing is not to be afraid. So we discussed the concepts of what it feels like to go on a bridge on your own. Sometimes you're feeling uncertain, sometimes it's difficult to hold on because the bridge might be shaky. And what it feels like to go on a bridge with a friend or people that you know uh, where they can be with you crossing the bridge. So the, these same ideas apply in, in life where if you're going through difficult times, you have your friends to hold you and support you. And you also can reach out to God, uh, pray to him uh, so he can be with you as you're going through those difficult times. So visually, we took that idea and I showed them what it feels like to be restricted, you know, holding back, and what it feels like to be liberated and happy and spending time with friends together, even through difficult times. Um, then we took those two ideas and we did a project where one side we did what it feels like to be closed off and restricted, and the other side is much more playful and joyful and how different those two feelings are. So I wanted to thank all the terrific artists this year that always come up with these beautiful, unique visions um, when they create art. And it's so wonderful to see how everyone looks at, or how everyone sees and expresses themselves in such a unique manner. And I also want to thank Susan Gilboa for her wonderful leadership, for Ronnie who comes up with great projects with the students all year round, for Paul and for all the other wonderful volunteers at Valley Bet Shalom. I am proud to be part of this, so thank you very much.
is the most comfortable way for you to connect, communicate, interact with other people? It makes me comfortable when I have some in common. For example, as a film admirer, can I assist me? So do I. You communicate better. I love doing art and listening to music with others. When I am at art class, I just have my own way of connecting and reaching people because I don't type there. I like when people say hi to me. Patterns of bridges slash zentangle with Roni. Beautiful complex images come from making repetitive patterns. A true zentangle is done only in black and white, using a black pen to draw lines on white paper and not erasing, as every line becomes an important part of the final piece. We began creating similar line patterns for the bridge, and then while each artist followed the line-by-line -line directions, the results are an expression of a variety of landscapes and perspectives that each person sees when looking over, under, and around bridges. Looking over the bridge to the future with Ronnie Schneor, we asked the participants how they envisioned themselves moving into 2022. Although we had all just experienced two challenging years, our participants spoke of being optimistic as they thought about moving forward. Their optimism resulted in seeing the beauty that surrounds them. They focused on the patterns and colors that bring them joy and light while helping them to envision a more positive future.
bridging the gaps with Roni. String art, or pin and thread art, is characterized by an arrangement of colored thread strung between points to form geometric patterns or representational designs, illuminating the path for ourselves and others. Sometimes we can see our way, and sometimes we need help to find a way to connect with others. Have you had to break down a wall in order to reach a goal? Then I had to work really hard to be a communication person like I am now. I have had to show people what they thought of me was wrong. That was breaking down something. A wall. Been in your way? My mom helped. My mom has helped me to break down wall, many walls, happy to make me more independent and to, to save as a person. I break down walls every day in order to be heard and understood. Each of us is an important strand in the web of life with Roni Schneur. The artist created the web with oil pastels which were invisible as they were drawn. The strands became visible when the artist added watercolors to paint around the web. The strands remained strong and unbreakable even as the watercolors moved over, around, and in between each strand. The artist recognized that individually we are strong, but we are even stronger when we are connected to our families, friends, and communities. They also understand that there are things we can do that will affect others, even if we don't know them. Reaching out to those close and to those far beyond our spaces with Roni Schneor. The artists moved around the room, asking friends to trace their hand onto different canvases. Once the canvases were filled with hands touching, overlapping, and connecting to the others, the artists embellished those connections as they chose which hands to outline and paint in different colors. Many resulted in connections that originally weren't intended to connect.
Joining together to make a bridge for a better future with Roni Schneer, we talked about two materials that can't mix. Oil and water separate rather than mix together. This is called water rejecting technique. So they started creating shapes for this piece with oil pastels, then they added other shapes with watercolors. The oil pastels reject the watercolors, so these two elements don't overlap, but can exist together in harmony, resulting in something beautiful. negative and positive spaces that shape our lives with Roni Schneor and Alyssa Landau. Why do we need to take care of ourselves to ensure that we are strong and that we have the proper support to be able to meet challenges when they occur? We began by looking at shapes and structures of bridges and discussed what materials are needed to support them. The various shapes and configurations of the bridges are designed to ensure their stability. The stained glass allows for the light to shine on them and angles and structures of the bridges so that you could see them from different perspectives just as we need different forms of support when crossing our own bridges to success. What have you learned about bridges from your experience in art this year? I have learned that I really like connecting with people and that it's much better to accept it in person. I think that we need to be around other people. I think art is something that builds a bridge between people. I learned that my classmates and I are bridges to the rest of the world. Effects of Migration and Gathering Together with Roni Schneor and Paul Versten. Any group of fish that stay together for social reasons are shoaling, and if the group is swimming in the same direction in a coordinated manner, they are schooling. Schooling evolved as a defense against predators, and in some cases, as a way to increase feeding efficiency. A group of whales or dolphins are called a pod. Dolphins are social mammals that travel and hunt for food together, protecting each other. Scientists say that these animals are learning from each other in ways that are very important to their societies and their survival. Birds form clusters of organized groups called flight flocks for a reason. Experts believe flocks increase the odds of survival and safety. When humans participate in group activities, it boosts our sense of belonging, and research shows that doing things synchronously can build even stronger social ties and create a greater sense of well-being. Our artists created their mobiles with understanding the importance of gathering, community building, 
as well as working together to make the world a safer and better place for all. Hine matov, umanayim, shevet achim gam yachad, behold how good and how pleasant it is for people to dwell together in unity. Choosing to build a bridge where one doesn't exist with Roni. Each artist built a bridge on canvas to show that they can take part in tikkun olam, repairing the world. Our participants understood that they have the power to create positive connections with others, and by doing so, we have the ability to bring more love into the world. You too can build a bridge where one doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea about the ways we can all reach out to people who are different than we are? You can reach people just by making yourself available at the beginning and conversation with them. You can always greet them by saying hi, my name is Elena, it's nice to meet you. Do you have an idea about ways that we can reach out to people who are different than we are. I think just always involve someone even if you think that are not intuited, they might actually be. And it always feel good to be involved. Thank you. We hope that you have enjoyed this year's art gallery and have learned from the various art exhibits that were created and from our artists how we can each be part of Tikkun Olam, repairing our world. So go out and find places where you can build a bridge where one doesn't yet exist. If you know of someone who could benefit from crossing over a bridge to the Our Space LA community, please send them my way. Our Space LA at vbs.org. Sigh.
are watching us, you know. The other one, it, it likes, it's psychedelic. I didn't know Danny had it in him, the, the psychedelia. It's an annual um, tradition and a blessing. And the reason to be here is to see everybody enjoying each other's art. I'm Eliana. I'm one of the volunteers at the arts program. And it's been a pleasure to work with these young adults and see their creativity blossom and grow. I want to buy your page. It's like, okay, for how much? I'm here to see the, the, the difference this community makes. The earth without art is just eh. Because it, it's great that the world has art and that's what makes it a happy place. <laughs>